Hey, Jameson, this is Maddie Glab. I'm the team reporter for the Buffalo Bills. Uh, congrats on coming to Buffalo. What attracted you most to this team? Um, my thing, the thing that really attracted me is just kind of, I mean, obviously playing against Buffalo the last few years and, uh, you know, just kind of seeing, um, you know, how close they've been to uh, competing for, for a Super Bowl. And, um, you know, just knowing, going against the guys that, uh, you know, like I said, when I was in, in New York, just knowing how they how their defense played and they have a guy that on the offense side of football. Um, I mean, you know, it's just, I just like it's a great opportunity for me um, to come in and try to contribute. In. <clears throat> what do you think of Josh Allen as a quarterback? Uh, how has it been to watch from afar and watch in the same division as him? Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, he, you know he's, he's a dog, um, you know, um, just watching the last few years, um, his development, um, obviously from a, you know, from a, from a far, like you said, but uh, he's a dog. He's a, he's a guy that, you know, can make things happen. Uh, and then most of all, man, he's a winner. So, um, like I said, I'm excited, you know, saying to, uh, to get a chance to um, play alongside him and play alongside the other guys as well. Yeah, there's quite a few wide receivers uh, on this team, which is a good thing because Josh needs as many as he can get. Um, but how do you think your skill set fits in the wide receiver room? Oh, well, I think that, um, you know, I'm just one of those guys, man, that can come in and, and be a guy that, that can be dynamic. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, like I said, just playing this, playing this the Bills last few years, I've been seeing, seeing the, the success that Cole Beasley had, you know, from the slot position. Um, you know, I feel like I can step in and, and, and have that same kind of success and uh, just be a viable out, uh, option uh, for the offense. Thanks, Jameson. Congrats. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, Jameson. John Scott from Spectrum News TV here in town. Um, I know you dealt with some injury and injury at the end of the season. Where are you health-wise right now and foresee things moving forward with that? Uh, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling great right now. Um, you know, I'm just ready to get up there and, uh, and get to work uh, with the guys and get acquainted with the with the city and and, and, and the team. So, uh, but your health wise, I'm feeling, I'm feeling great. Did you have any conversations throughout the process with either Josh or any of the other guys on the offensive side of the ball? Uh, I did. Um, you know, it was just one of those things where um, you know I was just you know in in, in discussion with my agent. Um, you know, just kind of waiting, waiting to hear from uh, you know from some teams and you know um, uh, Buffalo obviously was one that that reached out and um, you know just you know I'm just excited that, you know we got things got things done appreciate it welcome to town man thanks Hey, Jameson, Jay Skursky with the Buffalo News. Congratulations. Um, you mentioned uh, earlier about seeing the success that Cole had in this uh, offense how closely did you maybe watch his game and what similarities do you maybe uh, see in your game uh, compared to his, if, if at all? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I think um, obviously, man, I've, I've watched Cole um, for a while, basically all my career. Um, you know, when I was in Washington, he was in Dallas. And, uh, you know, same year he got to Buffalo, I, I went to uh, New York. So we've been in the same division for all my career. So I'm um, just watching him, man, just seeing how he has a feel um, in the slot for, you know, getting open against uh, man coverage and obviously having that feel to, uh, you know, be a valuable op option in his own coverage, man. You know, he's one of the guys that I've watched closely. Um, I, I feel like we have a very similar game, obviously very similar in stature. And, um, you know, we just, you know, make, 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 make things easy for the quarterback, you know what I'm saying? Be able to move the sticks on third down. Um, also, you know, be able to be a, a option in the red zone. So like I said, my, I've watched Cole a lot, man. And, um, uh, you know, I'll try to obviously, you know, mimic some of my things, some of the, some of the things um, from his game into my game. So, um, I guess I feel like I can step in and, and be that same kind of option uh, for this offense. You, uh, when you were a free agent and Cole was a free agent when he signed here and you signed in New York, was there any, uh, did the Bills maybe have any interest at that point? Did you, did you talk to them at all then? Or were you just kind of set on going to the Jets then? Well, yeah, I mean, Buffalo, yeah, they, they, they had reached out, um, but I, you know, I think that uh, at that time, I believe the Jets were, were on me a little bit more, um, you know. So that's what you know. I ended up kind of making a decision to go there. But uh, but like I said, man, you know, right now I'm just excited to to be joining the Bills right now, and you know, I can't wait to to get to work. Yeah, and then lastly, for me, you know, you're going from an offense that has had 
uncertainty, I guess, is the best word to use at quarterback. You know, you've gone through a couple of different guys there uh, to now coming to an offense that is established with one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Um, what what was the process like kind of in New York, not knowing year to year, you know, who you're who you're going to have at quarterback and the difficulty that that can bring for a wide receiver as to opposed to now coming to an established, you know, superstar quarterback in Josh Allen? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely tough. Um, you know, it definitely affects the the, the camaraderie and the chemistry, um, you know, that you have to have to go out there and be able to perform at a high level on Sunday, uh, knowing, you know, not knowing, you know, what the quarterback situation would be. But, um, but you know, kind of like, like you said, you know, here, uh, you know, it's established. Um, and obviously, you know, Josh, he's one of the top quarterbacks in the league. And so, uh, like I said, I'm just, I'm just very excited, man, to be here. And I just – you know, can't wait to get out there and, and uh, you know, get a chance to meet Josh and uh, just try to help build that chemistry and that camaraderie um, with him. Thanks. Appreciate your time. Yeah, appreciate it. Hi, Jameson. I came on a little bit late. I apologize if you already uh, answered this. Uh, but what, what does it feel like joining an offense with so much star power? Obviously, everybody knows Josh Allen, but joining a receiving core with Stephon Diggs and obviously Gabriel Davis, a kid that, uh, had that big performance against the Chiefs last year. For for a veteran like yourself, do, do you just see all kinds of possibilities joining a group like this? Uh, yeah, no, nah, for sure, I do. Um, you know, it kind of reminds me back when I uh, when I first got drafted um, to Washington. I came into a room with guys like you know Deshaun Jackson, Pierre Gasol, Jordan Reed. Um, you know, obviously, man, the more the more uh, the more weapons you know that that you have around a, a good quarterback. Um, you know what I'm saying? It, it only it only advances, you know, opportunities for the offense to be, you know, to be successful. So uh, I definitely see a lot of opportunities, you know, see a lot of uh, a good that can come out of, you know, me being able to join the team. So like I said, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I just can't wait to, to get out there and learn the offense and, and, uh, and get ready to play. Have you uh, been to Buffalo yet to sign your deal? Yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I was in Buffalo yesterday, so... Uh, yeah, everything, everything is, uh, you know, everything is set. What was your impressions of the facility, uh, the city, and obviously the staff members that you, you were able to talk to? Any conversations that stood out? Yeah, I mean, it was uh, it was great. Um, you know, just coming into the facility, seeing the facility is very nice, you know, from the, um, the locker room to the weight room to, um, you know, all the, all the room, the, the, the cafeteria, everything, man, it's a, it's a beautiful facility. Um, I didn't really get a lot of much time to, um, see the city much, um, obviously, because I was doing physicals and, you know, meeting with, you know, coaches and strength staff and stuff like that. Um, so, I, you know, I, that's that's something I look forward to, just getting up there and, um, you know, seeing the city and, and obviously, you know, getting some food, getting some wings. Um, so, yeah. And uh, Chad Hall, I don't know if you were able to meet with him at all. He's somebody that has just gotten rave reviews from the receivers here. Um, what was it like having a conversation with him and, and just overall, you know, how the team envisions you with this offense? Okay. Well, yeah, I didn't get a chance to meet with him. I think, you know, he's out doing evaluation and stuff. Mm -hmm. I was for the draft, but uh, he sent me a text um, yesterday and it was just a brief text and I responded back. So, you know, obviously I look forward to uh, meeting him and getting a chance to work with him. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like I, like I mentioned before, um, you know, I think, like I said, Cole Beasley was a guy that, that I watched. Like I said, since I came into the league and um, just seeing the success that he's had, um, that he had, you know, here in, in the slot, um, I think that, you know, I can really step in and, and be, you know, somewhat um, the same, if not better, um, option for, 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 for the offense. Thanks, Jameson. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, Jameson, this is Jay with the Buffalo News. I just had a couple more quick ones for you. Um, the you mentioned earlier working against zone coverage that was one of Cole's strengths uh, as a slot receiver. Uh, what in your mind is the key uh, to getting open uh, when you're going up against the, uh, a zone coverage, and, and how do you think uh, your skill set does uh, in the, in that regard? Yeah, I, mean, I think uh, obviously man, just having that feel and just kind of having the net um, inside, you know, being able to avoid linebackers, being able to avoid you know nickel safety dropping whatever it may be, just so you can find those holes. And, uh, you know, like I said, man, be a, be a, be a valuable option for the quarterback. Um, like I guess I think that's something that Cole, obviously, he has a, he has a knack for that. And, um, you know, I credit it to myself. And I feel like uh, me being one of the slots, obviously my whole career. And uh, I think that's 
that contributes to my success, just being one of those guys that can, you know, sit down and, you know, in the zone, understand different zones, different zone coverages, and being able to find those holes within the zone. Yeah. And then lastly, for me, um, Isaiah McKenzie was a, is a guy that was here last year when Cole was out, had a couple of big games. Obviously, he re-signed. He, he sees some time in the slot. Did the coaching staff, did the front office kind of give you any indication as to how you guys may be able to work together or anything in, in regards to where Isaiah fits into the picture along with yourself now? Oh, uh, no. Nah, I mean, they, um, you know, like I said, they didn't, uh, they didn't mention anything, uh, you know, how with the time and the roles and everything uh, is going to play out. So that's just something that you see, you know, obviously going forward into OTAs and once you get into training camp. Yeah, great. Like I said, thanks again, and I appreciate it. All right, thank you. Jamison Crowder, Mookie Hawkins, Buffalo Sports 1080, man. Welcome to Buffalo. Thank you, thank you. How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. Um, just, just, I mean... What made what, what came into the decision? I mean, your market value, man, was I mean, we all know what your market value is for you to sign to Buffalo. What really went into that? Uh, I mean, it wasn't much. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Just obviously uh, playing against Buffalo, like I said before, playing against Buffalo and seeing, um, you know, the success that you all have had here, um, you know, and obviously playing with a, with a top tier quarterback. Um, you know, really great defense. I mean, it really wasn't much going to it. It was, a, it was kind of a no-brainer for me. Um, you know, I just wanted to come in and give myself a great opportunity. Um, you know, and obviously, man, come in and try to be as much of a, a, of a playmaker for the offense as I possibly can. No doubt, no doubt, man. And uh, just care to talk about that state-of-the-art weight facility, uh, you know, that you got the chance to see when uh, walking into uh, One Bills Drive. Oh, yeah, no, it's beautiful, man. Uh, it's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, from from the uh, from the weight room to the training to the training staff to the training room, uh, the indoor facility, man, it's a it's, it's a beautiful setup, and uh, and I just look forward to um, being up there for OTAs and, and and obviously for the season and just getting acquainted with everybody and and and, and everything. So it's a beautiful it's, it's a beautiful place. What do you want Bills Mafia to know? You know about Jamison Crowder coming in this season? Uh, that you know that you're definitely getting you know a playmaker. Um, a guy that's obviously man gonna work hard and and, and obviously be about the team and man, you know, trying to guy that's trying to get you know trying to get a Super Bowl, man. No doubt, hey man, appreciate you coming in and I uh, can't wait to see you. Welcome to Buffalo. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it.